Good morning. Can can everybody everybody hear me? Okay. So it's quite uh, quite amazing that we're we come uh, together and practice uh, still despite the the shelter in place. Um, it's quite nice to see everybody, and um, even though that we we are apart, we're even uh, yet uh, closer together. So I think the the, the Dharma uh, kind of works in various uh, and mysterious ways that we cannot even conceive. So it's nice to see everybody. Um, as as you know that the uh, Zen Center has has been also a shelter in place. So. Uh, Roshi, my father, is at his own house, and and um, Akashan, uh, Ajo, my twelve-year-old son, uh, we are in the Kanzian house, and then um, residents uh, are down um, at the Sangha house or in their cabins, and um, we, uh, as you as you know, we have. Um, a schedule so we we get up um, in the morning and sit zazen and uh, before uh, when I get up I, I look out of my window and I can see actually the the stars and the fog of the mountain and uh, it's quite wonderful to see actually uh, the light or or the night turns into day um, uh, before sitting zazen then kashin and i we open actually all the the windows and doors of the house so maybe you can hear some of the bikers are riding by right now as i give this talk um, the birds uh could hear the birds chirping and um uh, during zazen uh, when I hear the the birds or the spring of the mountain, it reminds me to come back uh, to uh, the here and now or my life as it is. So before uh, coming into the room, this is this is our 
kind of our living room as, as you see, but we ha have made an altar and a place to sit. Um, I uh, put on my okesa, and this is a okesa or Buddha's robes, and I um, have my okesa uh, placed high um, on a type, top of a top of a biro, and it's in front of a Buddha, and I take my okesa and and hold uh, my okesa high uh, in in both arms to honor actually uh, the okesa and to actually honor um, uh, everything that that uh, I start my day with. So when, when I was in Japan, many of the teachers would say, Nyoze, you have to be careful, hold, hold everything. You know, hold everything with, with two hands. And it's honoring when we hold things with two hands. It's actually honoring, um, you would say, uh, this deepness or this, this gratitude, or you would say uh, the life within, within yourself. <laughs> Um, so it is actually to wake up. So that's how we, as practitioners, we we begin our day with with waking up to this true reality or the reality of our life as it is. Uh, at the beginning of 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 March, um, my son uh, Ajo has a has his spring break. So we we. Before the lockdown, we went on a road trip. <laughs> we want, went on a road trip and camping trip. So we went to a Grand Canyon and we went to a Death Valley and uh, we went to Canyon de Chez, which is uh, in the Navajo Nation. Uh, it's uh, Canyon de Chez is the Anasazi uh, cliff dwellings. And then uh, we went to a petrified a national park and then during the times when we we're at the park we had a very a spotty wi-fi so we heard about the lockdown and we're very actually concerned uh roshi was was or my father was saying Jose, you should come you should come back he was all have a good time but come back <laughs> and uh we ended up staying for uh, a few days longer at Mojave uh, uh, Natural Preserve. And um, uh, the, the land, I guess the land and, and the mountains and, and the, vastness, the vastness of this space really struck me. And of course we, we did camping and um, and hiking and where we where we camped uh, right in the back of us was a peak it was called Barber Peak and and uh, the all the rock formations were created by um, created by a volcano that actually uh, erupted uh, maybe 20 million years ago and there was other uh, rock formations on on uh, around around our campsite it was you know it goes back uh, 250 million years ago so it was quite amazing and then we we walked and we walked around Barber Peak so you could see actually the mountain from many different angles and of course my son uh, being 12 12 year old he, he wanted to hike to to the top of, <laughs> of Barber Peak so we hiked to the top of Barber Peak and um, it it was uh, just something that was was just very amazing to see. Actually, the landscape, the landscape. Um, so I think when we when we come uh, together and, and practice, or when we actually uh, hold, hold our our palms together in Gasho, or when we we return um, to the bird that chirps, uh, we actually uh, turn 
we return to something that's that's deeper than than we can even conceive of and um the gasho when we put our hands in gasho you can feel the palms of your hands together um uh it's it's bringing you would say bring all opposites of the world together a good and bad or right and wrong or left and right and we actually are realizing uh the duality of life when we put uh bring our gasho together and when we bow so maybe this is a a purity that that the the mountains express or the that the bird expresses so this this expression though uh, is is uh coming back to to our life a here and now so it's the arrival of our own life you know it's the arrival of um of of this body and mind and it's it's actually this is a taking an ultimate a refuge within our life when we come back to this here and now so all the forms that we do you know we hold we hold things high uh, when we bow or we bow to our cushion no matter where you are you bow to your cushion um, we hold our hands in gasho these are very a simple simple very simple uh, gestures but they are are very profound and meaningful So it's actually arriving. Um, it's it's the arrival the arrival of actually all all things. Mm. So it's it's uh, you you would say it, it's uh, yeah returning returning to life as it is or it's it's this uh, receiving this uh, direct transmission so and this happens uh, continuously just like this a truck drove by that's continuous tra transmission of all moments and all things so this is it's quite the dharma is quite wonderful um but but uh yeah, yeah it it the dharma is uh very wondrous and, and very profound in that way so there's there's the the title uh shobo genzo and shobo genzo is is actually uh fascicles or a group of fascicles that that dogen uh, our founder of the soda school uh, wrote and of course, this is looking at all viewpoints of actually zazen or seated meditation. Show, uh, show is is uh, right, the the right way, or, or the true way. Not not as opposed to uh, the wrong way. And you have uh, you have ho, which is is dharma, or you would say it's the law, uh, the universal law of of all things. Just like if you were to 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 throw a a, a ball up in the air, the ball comes comes down. So it's a universal law. <laughs> Hogan, which is is Dharma I, is this a uh, direct experience of, of what is already here. So when we come back to this present moment, we are directly experiencing our life or actually the universal life of of everything. Shobogenzo, so Zo is the treasury, or it's the container, or it's uh it is what what contains and what then then holds 
and preserves actually uh, this that which is already here. So when we when we sit when we sit zazen, the the seated meditation, just the form and the posture of zazen when we sit up is is actually holding holding this a uh, treasure. It's a holding a treasure. Um, so. Uh, this you you would say this view that we uh, as practitioners hold is is very actually very very different from the usual way of of looking at things so we see usually usually we see everything as as separate from ourselves so um we see it as as right and wrong or or good and bad um, we see it from outside outside of ourselves and so we try to, to study everything outside of ourselves but but uh we want we want to know so bad from our greed anger and ignorance that we we want to possess possess it to control it, to possess it, to, to know about it, but to know about it from here, but not through, not through our heart. But, but in, as uh, practitioners, then we, um, we see, we see, uh, our situation or, or our shelter in place, or we see, um, you would say our, our life now, you would say we see the virus um, as, as something that is, uh, that is close, close to us. But that's when we practice and when we come uh, to this, this, you would say this center of gravity of being or this peer way of being when we sit zazen. This, this usual way of thinking or a conditioned way of thinking is, is uh, whatever we think, then we, we, actually, we actually think about one thing after another after another, and it's, it's endless. So when we, when we sit zazen, uh, it, it's extremely important to to have a very, we, we receive, we receive through our heart or being, being open. So we sit with the strength of a mountain, um, just like a barber peak. We sit with the strength of a mountain, but at the same time, we, we sit with a very uh, uh, vulnerable and, an, and a very open heart. So this is, this is being transparent to all things that that we that we encounter in our life. This transparency, so we can feel feel this, but in time, then then we let it go. So we don't we don't uh, try try to think think and learn learn about. Uh, our life or things outside of ourselves from the conditioned mind, but we we receive we receive it. So when we we let go of our thinking mind, we are at the same time we are transmitting we are transmitting and then we are receiving we are receiving this. Um, So to see, to see in this way, or to see, you would say, the Buddha's body and, and all things is quite, it's a quite profound, but we need to do this over and over and over again, a hundred, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of times. And that's, 
This is our, our life. So our life is actually very profound in that way. No matter what conditions that we encounter, whether they're good, whether they're bad, that's just the scenery, but we return to this, this, uh, this purity, you would say, of the land. We return to this purity of the land. Um, let me read you something from... And I, I was just, I think, struck when we went camping and the, 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 uh, the land just really uh, s still sits with me to this very moment. So this is from the Mountains and Waters a Sutra that, that Dogen wrote, but it's just, it's a small paragraph. These mountains and waters of the present are the expression of the old Buddhas, each abiding in its own Dharma state fills exhaustive virtues because they are the circumstances prior to the couple of emptiness. They are this life of the present because they are the self before the germination of any subtle sign. They are liberated in their actual occurrence since the virtues of the mountain are high and broad. The spiritual power to ride the clouds is always mastered from the mountains and the marvelous ability to follow the wind is inevitably liberated from the mountains. Um, I think that, that uh, we, yeah, it's, it's, uh, some, sometimes, sometimes we receive it or sometimes we, we know something and then sometimes actually we don't, don't know something, but that's also okay. It's also okay. So that's that's uh, it, it's our practice is 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 bringing together is bringing together these opposites of you would say of, of this good and bad um, subject and object, uh, but but then it's it's realizing and receiving it within within your heart, so it becomes it becomes actually realized realize good or bad you know. so it, it does it goes beyond it goes beyond so this is actually what coming back to the land or coming back uh, to the birds or coming back to your zazen or coming back to, to you would say uh, washing your hands i'm sure everybody washes their hands that's a good practice now <laughs> for all of us is to wash our hands and we must, we must do it. No matter where we are, we must do it. I find myself doing it everywhere. Wash your hands outside, inside. But then it's, it's just, it's just washing, washing our hands. That's all it is. It's just, we wash our hands. Um, so, uh, But th this path of uh, this this path of of coming back and to uh, make a commitment uh, yourself uh, it, it is to actually practice uh, your life and to practice all these forms uh, no matter where we are. So you could be in Iceland. You could be in Poland. You could be uh, be here on the mountain, or down in the valley, or um, on another mountain, <laughs> or in another mountain, <laughs> or climbing another mountain, <laughs> or falling off another mountain. 
uh, yeah, this, so the, the, the sitting practice, the sitting practice is, is, uh, very, very important. You know, no matter where, where you are, no matter where you are, <laughs> it's very important. And, and, uh, as I say this, it's quite interesting because uh, I find my days, uh, we've been alone for a long time, but it seems like that I've been with a lot of people, but actually I'm just, I'm speaking to a computer screen. <laughs> so I think it's how we live, live out our life and how we we perceive perceive all things around us. Um, let me let me read uh, something from. Let's see here. So to sit cross-legged is to take a leap straight away, transcending the entire world and to find oneself within the exceedingly sublime quarters of the Buddhas and patriarchs. To sit cross-legged is to trample over the heads of all the devil heretics and become the person within the Buddhas and patriarchs innermost precincts. This dharma and this alone is the way to, trans, to transcend the highest reaches of the Buddhas and patriarchs. It is for this reason that Buddhas and patriarchs practice it and never exert their efforts elsewhere. You should know that the total world of sitting is far different from all other total worlds and penetrating the true nature of this difference, you discern and affirm the arising of the religious mind, the practice, enlightenment, and nirvana of the Buddhas and patriarchs. At the very time of your sitting, you should examine exhaustively whether the total world is vertical or horizontal. At the very time, what is the sitting itself? Is it wheeling about in perfect freedom? Is it like the spontaneous vigor of a leaping fish? Is it thinking or not thinking? Is it doing? Is it non-doing? Is it sitting within sitting? Is it sitting within body and mind? Or is it sitting that has cast off sitting within sitting? Sitting within body and mind and the like. You should examine exhaustively in this way thousands or tens of thousands of such details. You should be the body sitting cross-legged. It should be the mind sitting cross-legged. It should be body and mind cast off sitting cross-legged. The Buddha said the practice of Zen is body and mind falling away. It is mind attained only in single-minded sitting. Some may have known experientially that sitting is the Buddha Dharma, but none of them has known sitting as sitting. Shakyamuni Buddha preached to the assembly of nuns and monks. If you are sitting cross-legged, body and mind realize it's samadhi. Great virtue revered by all is yours. You are like the sun illuminating the world. Lethargy, mind-numbing sloth are dispelled. The body is light, the body is tireless. Even awakening comes quickly and easily, sitting serenely like a dragon coiled. Faced with depictions of cross-legged sitting, King Mara staggers with fright. Must yet, must he not recoil in great terror? See a wayfarer seated calm and unmoved.
we now know without doubt that cross-legged sitting is in itself the king of samadhi's samadhi, the entrance into realization. All samadhis are subordinate to this king of samadhis. Cross-legged sitting is the body of suchness, the mind of suchness, the body mind of suchness. The Buddha patriarchs in suchness practice realization in suchness, the crown of your head in suchness, and the direct Dharma lineage in suchness. Bring your present human skin, flesh, and bones, and marrow together. You form the king of samadhi, samadhi. The world honored one always observed cross-legged sitting, rightly transmitted to his disciples as well. He taught to humans and to devas, it is in itself the right transmitted mind seal of all the seven Buddhas. everybody. your hands. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much.